Hi! Happy lunch day, Detective Amati. I'm not working a case, Larissa, so you can just call me a rash. Happy lunch day. Only day of the year when there's enough of a crowd to lose my sister. Yeah, first time I've ever been able to catch you without Marissa hovering over you. We'll have to meet each other here every launch day. It's what Commander Peters would have wanted. Hey, did I hear someone invoking my great-grandfather? I swear I could summon you from the other side of our world by bringing up Commander Peters. You've got some sort of sixth sense for it. Nothing wrong with taking pride in being descended from the man who started us on humanity's first interstellar mission. Detective Amadi, did you know I actually knew Commander Peters? He told me stories about Earth on the first launch day when I was little. I've heard. Did you know how old that makes you sound? He doesn't care. I wear my age with pride. Hey Larissa, why don't we... A power outage has occurred. Please keep calm. Turn on your multi-comms flashlight and check if anyone near you needs assistance. Chief Mac Peters, report to the mayor's office urgently. Quietplease.org presents 253 Matilda. At the turn of the 22nd century, the asteroid 253 Matilda was converted into an interstellar spaceship. Now 92 years into a 780-year mission, generations have come and gone. Episode 1, Damage. There you are. I see you've brought Apprentice Flint. I can help. My multicom can't reach the network. Does anyone know what happened? Network's down. Only the old emergency voice channel works. Sounded like something exploded. From the looks of things, I'm afraid it was a reactor. Wouldn't it have switched over to the secondary? Should've. Could both reactors be out? They're on opposite ends of our world, and the systems are well isolated from each other. And even if they were both out, we'd be on battery if the interswitch were working. I'm willing to bet the secondary is fine, and it's the interswitch automation that's damaged. Well, sorry to make you work on a launch day, but you better go get it sorted before even my office's backup battery runs out and we all freeze to death. That'd take weeks. We're pretty well insulated. I'm aware of that, little girl. Get to work. Use your air jet for speed and keep your multicom light in front of you and try not to hit anyone. Go straight to the primary reactor. Should be able to switch it over manually from there. There you are. Been looking all over for you, Larissa. Are you okay? Marissa, I'm at work. I'll join you. Boss? Don't look at me. She's not under my command. I can't order around. And you know better than to try. Okay, here's the reactor control access hatch. Let's have a look. Grab hold of something. Don't let it blow you backwards. This doesn't look good. There. Sealed that valve. Now, let's get our world switched over to the secondary reactor. You did it! Lights are back! The surface side of the reactor seems to have taken the bulk of the damage. We'll have to go out there. To the surface? Yes. Come on, we'll suit up. Wait a minute. Nobody has been out there in... Ages. 33 years. It's too dangerous. You're worse than my husband, Marissa. It has to be done. You're not taking my sister. You've got to get somebody more experienced. I'm right here, sis. If I want to help, it's none of your business. 
Nobody's experienced at this. What's the rush? Why do it now? The mayor will hear about this. Oh, God. Okay. You remember your practice day with the suits? Some. Remember, gravity's the same out there. Still a centimeter per second per second. It's just there's no atmosphere to push on to reorient yourself and no walls to stop you if you go flying. Escape velocity is 23 meters a sec, so don't worry about flying off into the void to never be seen again. But falls can be dangerous in these suits, so I want you to move slowly and stay behind me. And don't touch anything until I say so. Understand? Got it. Secure your helmet. Communications check. Should I sing something? Please don't. I've heard your singing. Okay. Hold on to the rail during depressurization so the wind doesn't knock you over. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. All personnel stand clear. step amplification setting is on to make it easier to walk because you won't be able to feel much. Okay, I'm set out. Wow, would you look at that view? 3D projections just don't do it justice. It's incredible. My great grandfather used to tell me about standing on the surfaces of planets. Only now can I understand the reverence he felt for the experience. Maybe this is something of what the people on Earth feel who live on the surface every day. The infinite universe of stars above their heads and the dirt beneath their feet. Doesn't Earth's atmosphere obscure the stars besides the sun? Only sometimes. Hey, look. There's the sun. Where? See the Big Dipper? Yeah. That really bright star just to the left. Oh, yeah. It looks a bit different. So where's Proxima? Still too dim to see for a few hundred years. I don't think the Centaurus constellation is visible from here at the moment. If it were, you could see Alpha Centauri. I hate to interrupt your astronomy seminar, Peters. Mayor. I'm told you and Apprentice Flint are on the surface. That's right, Mayor. I would have appreciated being consulted. Would you like us to come back in? Can you see the reactor yet? Just coming up on it now. I can see a hole in the top. Peters, I need you to take some scans of the damage, particularly the hole and possible sources of the explosion, and transmit those to Detective Amati. What? Why? He thinks somebody did it on purpose. We have to consider the possibility that the Returnists have taken to sabotage. You have to admit the timing is highly suspicious. This happening in the middle of a launch day party. I don't believe that. I've already informed Earth of my suspicions. But of course it'll take seven months to hear back from them. So we'll have to put this in the detective's inexperienced hands. I'm sure he's up to it. Well, I'll take the scans. We're going to take some anyway to determine the replacement pieces we'll need to manufacture. Let me try it. I've practiced with the scanners. Let's get the grill off so we can scan deeper. Got it. I wouldn't touch that. Lynn! What's happening? She accidentally triggered an exhaust valve, and it sent her flying. It's okay. I'm okay. Just a little dizzy. You're getting too high! 
I can see so far from up here. I can even see the secondary reactor. You gotta come down hard! But gravity is the same. You never had anywhere you could fall so far before. A centimeter per second per second can kill! Dr. Stone here, the mayor patched me in. Larissa, can you hear me? I hear you, Doctor. I think she's at the top of her parabolic arc. I I'm heading to where I, I think she'll land. Careful, Peters. Stay close to the ground and don't risk suit damage. Larissa, is there any way you can get your feet pointed down? You want to land on your feet and then fall to your side or forward, just not on your back. I'm just spinning, Doc. I can't stop the spin. <laughs> you have a small air release valve on your oxygen pack, remember? Use tiny releases. Hold the valve to direct it, and when you get lower, try to direct it down to slow your descent. I'll try. You're starting to come down a lot faster now. This is a lot harder than you'd think. Keep trying! It wasn't designed for maneuvering. She's about to hit! <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you see her, Peters? Uh, just a hit. Almost there. Is her helmet intact? Cracked. Her air gauge is on zero. She's unconscious. I'm bringing her in as quick as I can. Doctor, did she survive? That depends on how you define it. Oh my god. This can't be real. Her body is alive. Broken leg, two fractured ribs. But she was without oxygen for eight minutes. If she ever regains consciousness, there won't be much brain function left. Are... are you sure there's no chance of recovery? Peters, you bastard! I told you to take somebody experienced. You're the reason this happened. You leave my sister alone. Go. Get the hell out of here. She's like another daughter to me. I think... Go! You've been listening to 253 Matilda, Episode 1, Damage. Created, written, produced, and directed by Paul Neerum. Chief Mech Salish Peters is David Loftus. Apprentice Mech Larissa Flint is Lindsay Townsend. The Mayor is Roger Arnold. Marissa Flint is Virginia Hargrove. Dr. Stone is John Gauntz. Detective Arash Amadi is Paul Neerum. Communications Chief Hu Jia is Steph X. Crowd noises included Emily Eichel and Paul Neerum. The announcer is Aaron Summonsby. Sound effects and music courtesy freesound.org and freepd.com. This program is licensed for free reuse and redistribution. Hear more episodes at quietplease.org slash 253.